All right, welcome, welcome back, everyone. This is our tray of tiny pieces. Keeps getting more and more crowded. Uh, I said, I'm like, like I said yesterday, I'm very pleased with how this this one's turning out. Got some a little bit wonky here and there, but for the most part, everything is really turning out nice. Let's say, still got to fix these pillows in that, that mailbox. But I've sort of got something in the back of my head on the mailbox. I think if I can make something to put inside the mailbox to so I can push against it whether it be wood or maybe some of that foam just something to get a little more pressure where I can get a better form I think I'd be happy with that but that's you know that's the problem for tomorrow with me but uh like I say I'm you know these these bottles and everything like I say they're really are turning out good and like I say I'm still shocked and amazed that witch's hat worked I yeah, I don't think I've ever made one of those I think I did one for the the uh, wand shop thing, and it didn't turn out that good. But uh, anyway, we're uh, gonna get a little bit more done today. Uh, not sh doesn't look like it's over. One of them doesn't look too overly complicated, and the other one looks way overly complicated. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'll be right back with the first little bit. Okay. Got some, what are they calling it? They're just calling this equipment. So uh, we've got our bottles here that we're gonna fill. You're supposed to be using that moss, what I've been calling the moss stuff, to fill the bottles up. But I'm gonna go with glitter, <laughs> just because I think it, I think it'll look cooler, more magical. <laughs> and we're doing some, there's gonna be some more bottles and containers and whatnot, and some, some. Uh, Crystal balls, I'm assuming is what those are for. But uh, start off with our jars. If I can get these guys to stay. <laughs> that one's very rolly. <laughs> and uh, pick our crystal ball housings up. All right. Gonna repurpose my old box, old tray of tiny pieces tray. To catch the glitter <laughs> that I'm, I'm inevitably going to spill. I made a little funnel out of a post it note. And get you out of there. In there. I think I'm just going to try and. I'm going to try and do two colors in each one. So I think I'm going to do red and green and blue and silver. <laughs> just, just to see how it works, how it looks, how it goes. One more. Eh, one more, one more. <laughs> okay. I said red and green is what I said on this one. So that's, that's how you Should be. Oh, they, <laughs> you would think it'd blend up some. Yeah, it's starting to go. Yeah, I think that'll look alright when it's all said and done. Yeah. And how full is that? Yeah, it's pretty full. So I'm <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna stick with that. And okay, and the second one said blue and silver. I'll do silver on the bottom, I think. Oh, 
One more. Yeah. Oop, um, no, that is that side. Maybe the first time I've used it. No, I've used the blue before. I think. <laughs> it looks awful clean in there, but it may not have. <laughs> Overfilled that one. I don't think it's going to mix. That doesn't look too bad either. <laughs> Two different layers. All right. There we go. Got it. Yeah, it looks like. I'd say it looks like a magic potion in there. <laughs> That might be the trick, just drop it. <laughs> Alright. All that. Well, and I got a nice little glittery box now. Mm. That's about how much I wasted. <laughs> Plus all the stuff is going to be on my hands and everything for the next week or so. <laughs> all right, now get our labels on. So let's just go on, pick a side and stick it on evidently. I'm going to try and get I'm going to try and get a little bit of a curve on there, just so it's more likely to conform to the shape of the bottle. <laughs> okay, I think that's close, and... What am I going to use this time? I think... I think I'll go with the beacon. <laughs> Just because I don't know what else to... <laughs> don't know why not. Okay. <laughs> I'll just put a dribble... There in the middle. Okay. Bad part of this thing's the string. <laughs> Right side up. Mm -hmm. Move around a little bit. Try not to pull that stopper out and spill glitter everywhere. <laughs> you aside to dry and that seemed to work pretty good so let's do it again with the... I've been too curvy on that one <laughs> right quick <laughs> back pressure on the glue there all right got that sorted and now 
that's right side up. Move you around, spread the glue out. Get you straight. Looks good. Yeah, dig it. Okay, that off to the side. No, I'm going to need more glue. <laughs> okay, so that's our first bit. And we get to make our crystal ball stands. So I think that's going to call for the old Gorilla Super Glue. we go these two marble beads and they just mount on each one like so so move over to the turbo tacky I think be my best option here generous dollop right in the middle they touch the sides a little bit you down and same on this one. Down, I think. Uh -huh. Make sure I got contact underneath there. Yeah, they're both into the glue, so that's good. And set them aside. Maybe I can do this. Give them a chance to get stuck. Uh -huh. Alright. Then we got this guy. It looks sort of like it's going to be an urn situation. Is there an up or down on that? I don't think so. <laughs> Leo here. Oh, it's a little bit higher. <laughs> drop you on. Easy enough. This one doesn't look like it's just a container, I guess. <laughs> and it gets one of the gold beads as a lid. Does this even... Okay, it will stand up on its own. <laughs> I'm careful and don't bump it. Aside. Oh, I got a little notch here. I think I'll get you in. 
It'll keep you upright. Okay, yep. All right, and that's all there is to that section. Uh, oop. Next section appears to be calling for some uh, sewing, or not sewing, but it'll be, you know, making, we're making a cloak for something. So I'm not optimistic about that, but I wasn't optimistic about those hats yesterday either, so maybe something good's about to happen. We, we'll just have to find out together. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. I'm actually going to do them a little bit out of order because I'm, I'm wanting to save this for last because I'm dreading doing it. <laughs> you know, so this is where we're going to make our cloak out of this fake leather material. But uh, that's there. The first thing I'm going to do, we'll get to make like a little staff dealio. This thing, this thing. The gold wire and the bauble. Get these guys over out of the way. Bring in my gluing table, gluing board, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't. Let me do a quick peek ahead, right quick. Mm -hmm. I don't see any other. I think this is the last time I have to use that wire. So I'm just going to use it all up on this our little staff deal so that should be fun okay it says this should go in there it looks like just barely it's snug it looks like I'm taking a thin layer off <laughs> focus there you can see it's a little well getting a little taking a little bit off of the don't have to glue that. That's, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was easy. And then this is supposed to go in the other end. I don't think I'm going to be coordinated enough to do that with this one. <laughs> don't have enough to grip on. Let's see. All right. Maybe. No, it's crooked. Okay, let me do grab. See if I can get a just, a just sort of spin it on the edge of my file here. Take that outer layer off, way down at the bottom. See how that works. Okay, the 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 cap is loose, but the actual part on the our staff is not. So I don't know if I broke that loose or if it was always like that. <laughs> but it appears to be sticking, so I'm good with that. <laughs> now, okay, this may be too much gold, but. Let's see here. Do a and do wrap get a little hoop on it and hope it's about the right size. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Undo. Should. I can't get a hold of it to grip it. Okay, there it goes. Can spread it out after the fact. Mm -hmm. 
can use that again. I think I can spread it out after the fact. sand. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Got our okay, scepter, staff. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe it'll be and then their picture is much less of the gold wrap on there, but I just, like I say, I had it, so I might figure I might as well use it. <laughs> okay, so I'll set you into the side with all our other little goodies. And now, gonna hopefully make a broom or two. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm, let's see here. Okay, I'm supposed to take this one and split it, unwind it, I think it says. Before I make the broom, I'm gonna make whatever this thing is. It's supposed to take 90 mil of this one, so nine centimeters, I believe. So to there. And just have this on here, evidently. That's where tying all those knots on those sails came in handy. <laughs> Little practice. Hopefully. Hmm. It's not going anywhere. Okay. That was as I I guess could spin this around or something maybe to pop it back through. I don't know. I don't want to trim it all because I want to make sure it's got plenty to grip onto in case it does start slipping. There we go. I'm just gonna put throw a drop of glue on the on that right there just to keep it in place. <laughs> okay. Set that aside. <laughs> that seems to be the method of the day today. Now, we're supposed to be. I don't think they gave me enough. <laughs> Is there another more? No, that's all of the twine. Let's see here. Supposedly, supposedly, what is that? Two it says two hundred millimeters. So that's 
Okay, that's what it is. It's the whole thing is about 200 millimeters, but that's only one of them because I use it. That's only 110 left on this one. Is it? Are there three of them? <laughs> No, no, I don't want one. No, that's just one strand. Okay, I'm sure I didn't. No, that's everything. Okay. Are you? No. Okay. Divide one whole D33, which does that thing, into two. Cut D32 in length that penetrate into six, so 90. Maybe it's supposed to be just 10 centimeters a piece. If it is, that's this is more than 10. This one's more than 10 centimeters. Let's, let's see how this looks with 10 centimeters. <laughs> and it doesn't say how tall. It's supposed to make it go back and forth with it, so I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Find out. Supposed to <laughs> not let go of it there. <laughs> but stick it on the end here. So let's get a little bit on the, all the way around. Pick you up with not much. Oh, yeah. She's in the middle of all that. And then the wire. Wrap it up there. Okay. <laughs> and then cut the ones that fold it over. Maybe just cut them all this way. So they're even. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't really have an option, so it's it's either going to work or it won't work. I think that looks all right. That seems proportionally okay to that for that size of broomstick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it must have been 200 millimeters total, and then one half of it in each. Okay, that's what I think. I'm going to go with anyway. <laughs> okay, so with this one in half. Go back on there. I don't know if this wire is going to be long enough. It should be. I think that works. <laughs> I don't think those rooms look too bad. Alright, set them aside as with all these other things I've built today. And now, on to the part where I've been trying to not do. <laughs> Got this thing. Let me actually trim this down closer to the edges. Sit on there and see where I'm at, how it's holding. Okay. And because I'm sort of dreading this cut, this 
I have replaced my exacto knife blade so this is a brand new super sharp blade <laughs> and right off the bat I moved it okay <laughs> okay so what I am gonna do I think get me some scotch tape here I think I just ran out. <laughs> yep, no, there's some more in there. My dispenser didn't cooperate. Okay. Try again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so hit the template and the material. And I can cut through scotch tape, so I'm not worried about going over onto mm. And evidently my dispenser does not like this. It's pretty warm here today. I think the humidity's up, so there it's I'm having issues. <laughs> okay, over across the top. Okay, I am not a sewer, so this is all just guesswork here. That seems like it ought to hold everything fairly stable so I can make these cuts and hopefully end up with a nice couple of pieces of material. So. And they only gave me one one piece of genuine imitation leather to work with, so it's too late now. Yeah, that went straight through. <laughs> I should be able to make that. I think that whatever I don't actually cut with a knife, I should be able to trim up with the scissors. Now this long arc here. And yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got now. And then, 
take this out in the middle. I'd take it off the form altogether. <laughs> Should at least take the tape off. <laughs> okay. Alright. That's okay on the bottom. Looks like it's just yeah. Do some. It's just must be squared, so it's just satisfied with that. Now I just got to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing with all this stuff. Okay. Got. Okay, so this guy goes like this. And, no, no, other way, other way. Put the green side up. I don't know if it's showing on camera or not, but the the, the shiny side is green and the, the bottom side is black. Or the non-shiny, the less shiny side is black. <laughs> These go here and here. And I'm supposed to tweezers out here. Find a good place where I can see and show y'all. <laughs> Okay, so that's supposed to go on right there. And I'm going to go with the super glue just for speed's sake. I'm not sure I'd recommend this for real. But I'm going to, just like yesterday with the witch's hat, I'm just going to get this thing, just barely put any on there. Right on that edge. Y'all can see it better than I can, really. <laughs> Just looked in the display. Uh -huh. Back around. This guy. Until there. Pressure. Hope I don't glue it to that piece of wood. <laughs> okay. I did, but no, not that bad. Okay. That's about the... Yeah, that looks like the picture. We got good separation on our top there, I think. Um, okay, so then we run another bead of glue along one edge. So let's bring these up together. That makes a hood. Okay. Oh, once again, uh, maybe against my better judgment, gonna stick with the old super glue. together. Yeah, sort of looks like a hood. <laughs> Good squish all the way down. 
Okay. Yeah. May get a little bit too low on the, the collar down there, but I think for the first shot, I think that's going to be okay. Okay, and then... Okay, we're supposed to roll these sides over and glue them down. Something like... <laughs> I think it's something like that. So this is this is gonna be where it falls apart for me a bit. <laughs> well it shows it actually. I think Okay. It actually shows it a fair amount over, so it's not just the edge, it's I'm going to go ahead and do you know, not easy to do with the hood on there. <laughs> Let me do a stop start real quick for him. Okay. I actually almost ran out of SD card space there, so it was time to swap cards anyway. So I'm trying to figure this out as we go along. Okay, so this. See, it looks like it wants to be about like that. And the... Yeah, I think that's... Okay, so that's going to be my aim. I'm just going to hit... <laughs> I say just kind of... Let's do... Them out right there and I'll roll it over and pray. <laughs> if I can get it to roll over, that's <laughs> maybe I went too far. <laughs> Do that one like that. No, oh, that's actually gonna look really good. <laughs> That drew up the hood and everything, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna almost have them match meat. It has it like much wider spaced, but I think, I think that works good for me. I think it's so dark, it's hard to show the details there, but that's, yeah, that's my plan now. Was that two? Yeah, that was two two steps. That was equipment and equipment number two is what this one with the hood and everything was. So, oh, and I've got not done yet. I've got to put a, a badge on here. Sixteen. You're supposed to go on like so. All right. Yeah, sort of like the hat yesterday. I, it turned out looking much better than I was expecting it to. So that's what we get today. We got our our bottles of magical glitter. <laughs> our urn. Our staff. couple of brooms that I'm still not sure there's enough bristles on, but I'm going to live with that. Can't get hold of the crystal balls. Crystal balls on their stands. Two of them. Our little... Whatever this thing's going to end up being. <laughs> and our little container 
of whatever that is. Is that all we did? Seems like we did more than that. I guess not, though. <laughs> yep, that was... And I'm going to make this in a short one today, relative... Uh, I guess it may not be. <laughs> but, let's see, I'm... I'm ple I am pleased how that, this one turned out. Let me see what do I have. I don't have a light handier. I'd, I'd shine an extra... Oh, I can turn up my lights here. Maybe. I don't know if it'll help or not. I think that that cloak really did turn out pretty nice, I think. Uh, I'm, pl I'm... You know, I said... This stuff I'm always amazed that I don't totally butcher. <laughs> but I'm also getting enough practice in now where I shouldn't be butchering this stuff. And, uh... Let's see, did my label stay on good on there? Yeah, it did. I don't... In my head, that, that glitter was going to blend much more than it, than it ended up doing. But I think, you know, I can just still... Just keep doing that and it'll it'll blend more in. <laughs> I don't think they'll separate out. But like I say, I think that's... I say, the... I like the way that just, you know, I say, as you walk around, that'll catch light and stuff, maybe. Depending on where, you, where they sit in the final display but uh yeah i'm pleased with it look you now just like last few days i'm really looking forward to seeing, getting to the point where we get to put stuff together looks like i actually may start building on the building towards the end of this week looks like we should get into those pieces relatively soon i don't think it'll be much longer than that till i say start putting floors together got yeah Maybe Thursday or Friday, it looks like. Got plenty of, still got some small pieces left to go, but we're doing good. But anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.